everybody, this is Wendy Silvers, and I am coming to you from the Capitol in Sacramento. And I want to let you see the amount of people. I'm walking through the halls, and there are people on every floor that are here to oppose SB 277. Nursing mamas, papas, grandparents, people that don't even have children are here to state their opposition to this bill. Today we're in uh, the Education Committee and we are asking that they do not pass SB 277, which would make mandatory vaccinations the way to have a child receive public education. So I will keep you posted and I want to share with you um, everybody here, you can see as I walk through the halls that there are people lined up against the halls everywhere, floor after floor. Now more than ever, this is about parents taking back their power. This is about the unconstitutional effect of removing public education for children that are not vaccinated. Whether you selectively vaccinate or not, if you selectively vaccinate, your child cannot attend public school. It's very interesting to be inside the hearing. Senator Liu made an announcement saying that she did not want anybody to talk about vaccinations. And Senator Allen and Senator Pan began to talk all about vaccinations. And so we are really witnessing an enormous amount of political agendicizing. And there is really very little about this that is truly about caring for the well-being of children. There are hundreds and hundreds of parents here today and also watching uh, via the uh, governmental channels. So I'm just saying, people, this is really interesting politics that we are witnessing and that we as parents, we as citizens, have a right for them to amend this bill or to absolutely cease and desist this bill that supports the children being taken care of. Thank you.